Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour. I'm Ting and we're here today at Children's Medical Research Institute in Westmead, Sydney, the home of Genes for Genes. We're on a mission to develop treatments and cures for the 1 in 20 children with a birth defect or genetic disease. Please follow me. To understand who we are and where we've come from, let's have a chat with our Community Relations Manager, Jennifer Phillips. Jennifer, can you tell us about the origins of CMRI? Well, in the beginning, a very well-known paediatrician at the time, called Sir Laura Dodds, realised the need for specific paediatric research. And especially as we grew into the 80s and the 90s, we had changed focus and we changed from clinical research to understanding the root cause. Moving here to Westmead, into this wonderful biomedical research facility where we've got international acclaim through our international journals, through our collaboration worldwide. So we're very, very proud of our history and also the future. Jennifer, thank you so much for telling us about the history of CMRI. And now we're going to delve a bit deeper into the research. So here we are on level five, the home of ProCan, our world first international cancer research project. And here to tell us a bit more about it is Director of the Institute and co-founder of ProCan, Professor Roger Riddell. ProCan is a big cancer research program where we've developed the technology to analyse simultaneously thousands of different types of protein molecules in cancer samples. We're doing this in tens of thousands of cancers, which is a scale that's never been attempted before. Importantly, we're doing it on cancer samples where the outcome of treatment is already known. So what that means is we'll be able to use advanced computational techniques to find the pattern in the data that predicts which cancer is going to respond to which treatment. What we expect this will allow us to do is to analyse a cancer sample from a newly diagnosed cancer patient and be able to predict for that individual patient which is the most appropriate treatment for them. What that means is that they won't have to go through trials of different types of therapy. There'll be a much better chance of getting the treatment right the first time. So not only does that mean that it increases the chance of success for the treatment, but it also means that the side effects of treatments that turn out to be futile will be completely avoided. The ProCam project is creating a massive digital database of cancer samples, representing every type of cancer currently known and treated around the world. It's like a giant reference library of cancers. What you can see here are six specialised instruments called mass spectrometers that can measure up to 5,000 different proteins in a single cancer sample. They create a fingerprint telling us what's unique about each cancer type. Hey Steve. Hi Tim. Steve here is a scientist in our ProCan lab. Steve, can you tell us a bit about what happens here in ProCan? So for tens of thousands of samples, it's a huge amount of data. To be able to process all this, we actually built an on-site supercomputer to handle all of the information. Oh, what an incredible setup. How much does one of these machines cost? Each of these instruments cost about $1.3 million. We currently have six of them, but this lab was built to house 12. If we had additional funding, we could utilise all the spare taps in this lab. We could process more samples and then we would achieve ProCan's goal faster. Thanks so much for talking to us, Steve. It's such an exciting project. You're welcome. We love to show people what we do here. Now we're going to move to another extremely innovative lab at CMRI, the Gene Therapy Research Unit. This team works in collaboration with the Vector and Genome Engineering Facility and in a joint initiative with Children's Hospital Westmead. Their basic goal is to not just treat, but cure genetic diseases. Sam, can you tell us what is gene therapy? Well, the idea of gene therapy is really simple and is use genes as medicine to cure or treat um, genetic diseases. Uh, it's particularly important for diseases where there's little or no current treatment options. Wow, that's really cool. So how does gene therapy actually work? Well, one of the most challenging aspects for the field is to deliver the therapy to enough cells in the body to achieve a clinical benefit. And currently the best way to do that is using what's known as a gene delivery system or a viral vector. So using these vectors we're able to deliver a working copy of a gene to the body to knock out a gene that's not functioning properly or even to repair a specific uh, patient mutation using uh, genome editing. So what are some of the success stories that have come out of the lab? 
So we were really fortunate to be involved in what turned out to be the first successful gene therapy um, trial in the world in collaboration with a team in France um, and that was for a severe immunodeficiency disorder uh, where we treated one, one infant uh, and more recently we've been involved um, in the SMA um, trial for children with spinal muscular atrophy who really have no um, treatment options at all. In the future we'll be able to make the incurable curable and not only for uh, children in Australia but also for children all around the world with rare diseases. Thanks so much Sam, it must be a really exciting time to be a researcher in Australia. Yeah it really is an exciting time and thanks for stopping by the Gene Therapy Research Unit. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour today. We hope you've been inspired by the vital work being carried out by scientists here at Children's Medical Research Institute. With the support of Australians, we are changing the lives of not only our children and grandchildren, but of future generations. You can support us by visiting our website. Thank you so much.